All right, Black Cage of Sports here. I got Kamal Yard, founder, director of the Philly, Fry, Philly Pride Basketball Club, a uh, Under Armour sponsored team, and home of the reigning 16 and under national championship team. Kamal, we out here today because you decided to the best of your ability to do a socially distant, healthily, healthy, healthy, <laughs> conscious little event. I think you just wanted to get the kids a chance to play and not let the whole summer go by. Is that what the purpose of this is? Yeah, that was the purpose of it. I think also to uh, be able to try to maximize. Uh, they lost so much with respect to, to COVID um, in terms of um, being able to maximize their um, potential with respect to college coaches. Um, so we kind of wanted to help increase that, you know what I mean? So we have a little event, had these guys go up and down a little bit, make sure it's, it's uh, social distancing is in effect. I see, man. Make, you make know, sure. I, I've been a lot. I've said to people that AAU tournaments may be the most non-socially distant sport, you know, when you go to a typical event. It's right. everyone's on top. Right. This is really good. I mean, you guys are really limiting the people in the gym and people are staying away from each other. Right, right. I mean... Uh, that's impressive. Now, let's talk about Philly Pride basketball, man. I think the time has come to where I have to publicly acknowledge a lot of the, the good work that you're doing that may, I think, go unnoticed. I know that you have a team of kids from Delaware and a team of kids from Jersey Shore. And the Jersey Shore kids ran into some adversity their program kind of had to fold suddenly. Right, right. And you have given them a, a, an opportunity to wear the Philly Pride colors and get out here and still be organized and practice and work on that craft in the summer. You know, what's that about, man? You didn't have to go down the shore and work with that different set of kids. What's that coming? What, what are still, you doing? It's, it's still, we're still servicing families. Mm -hmm. that, that's really what it's about. It's, we're still in the business of servicing families. So um, you, I think that... Uh, the kids that are previously played for Jersey Shore, they still needed somewhere to play. Um, the parents over there still wanted to be able to have a situation where their kids can compete for college scholarships, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to be able to provide that, and that's what we're doing. Who's running that program for you? Who's the coach um, over there? They call my man Brian Stafford is his name. Mm -hmm. Brian Stafford is kind of heading the Philly Pride, and we call him his Philly Pride Goal is, 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 is uh, the name of that program. Um, so uh, my man Brian Stafford is running that, and he's doing an excellent job with it. All right. And lastly, you know, I'd say seven or eight years ago when I thought of your program, it, I, I really honestly almost thought of like North Philly, right, right. really directly. And I thought of kids that came primarily from Philadelphia public schools. And now I've gotten to know a lot of your kids and I just talked to one of your kids that plays for one of the, uh, I think it's the, the Jersey Shore program. Kid tells me he's a 4.0 student. I know you got Stevie Mitchell, Ed Holland. I know these guys are 3.9 students. Right. So it seems like you somewhere in the last few years you decided you to know, go that's funny. Ivy League, Patriot League. No, no, you know what's funny? I think that you know we uh, we we've kind of grown, and I think that um, we still service obviously you know you know inner city kids, and, and we always going to be committed. That's always going to be chief in terms of our, our the core of our mission um, to be able to kind of help uplift inner city kids and kids who don't really have. The opportunities that you know kids from Lower Marion and them have, but with that being said, we've grown, and um, you know we got our 16 at the national team got four kids that uh got over, really over, over 14 of the I'm sorry, they, my 16 of the national team has four kids with over a 4.2 GPA on the 16 of the national team, and they're all good players. Um, so uh, you know it's just you know the middle class has grown also so that's kind of helped out tremendously too and i think um in talking to a lot of your parents i think that some of the parents of those kids you know they raise these kids in the suburbs they go to fine schools but when it comes to basketball i think they want to just have their kids get put into situations where they're uncomfortable on the court where you got to fight for minutes and right, time right, right. and where you're going to compete and where the coach maybe is not going to tolerate you know you being uh less than full effort at all times and I think back to guys like John Harar, guys like uh, Chris Diarchi, Archie Diacono. Yeah. I think that those kids really benefit from the Philly Pride experience. I right. think you lend something to their development. Do right, you agree? Right. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a mixture of, 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 of life. I think in, in the earlier you can have that, the better. 
Um, so you got a kid that's a typically suburban kid, mm -hmm. and then they come with some of these rough and tumble inner city guys, man, and it can wind up being a lasting experience for them, not only basketball wise, but you know, for their life. Well, this year, you know, it's been kind of a, a total wash, but I'm really impressed that you guys have put this together and the kids are out there. Right now, your 16 and unders are playing against Lonnie. It's good to see the local guys cooperating, giving the kids, and these kids all know each other, so they're getting a chance to go head up. What are your plans for the rest of the summer? You're going to try to give the kids a few more chances to play with your jerseys? Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to put keep putting together some small, quaint events like these events, small level events, not a lot of people, social distance. Um, for the most part, we have a, a tight door. And what I mean by that is, we, you know, we're not letting people in and out. You know what I mean? And I think that uh, we're going to do a few of those. We're going to, you know, video it, live stream it, send it out to the coaches. And that'll be it until further notice. All right. Well, I'm glad you gave me a few minutes. I think the Stevie Mitchell show about to start in a few minutes, man. You know, that's, it's nice that's a hot tonight. ticket. Nice yeah, I'm, people don't know that show yeah. about I'm. I swear to God, on, on everything, five minutes ago, I just got a text from some people out in Wisconsin. They, they, they read my piece that I wrote in January on Stevie, and they're raving about them. So yeah. we still have them for another, what, eight, nine months. So I'm going to go take advantage of every opportunity. Appreciate you, Mark. Philly you, Pride. Man is really doing and I'm not we all know them Dr. Scott and Dave Beatty and all the guys the players that you develop but I think people need to know what you're doing in terms of straight up social work because that situation Absolutely. and with the Jersey Shore and let's be real these kids are, are suburban kids predominantly white kids and they were out there through no fault of their own and to see your organization step up and give them a platform you deserve some kudos for that, man. I respect that. My man. Thanks right. a lot, man.